What is it now? Hey, pal, do you like to drink stuff? What kind of question is that? Of course I like to drink stuff. Depending on what you're talking about. A little caffeine for game night, perhaps? Specifically coffee? Well then, yeah, I love coffee. Well, then you need to head over to Many Worlds Tavern. The online coffee roasting and tea company? That's where I got this. Oh, you already know? Whoa, wait, they make tea? Yep. Not only are their coffees delicious and delivered right to my front door, they also donate one dollar from every bag to gaming-related nonprofits. I gotta get me some of this Verdant Harbor green tea and some of that Hazy Hills Earl Grey while I'm at it. As far as the coffee goes, I'd say my favorite is a toss-up between Dragon's Nest and their flagship, Treasured Realm. Oh yeah, don't they only release 500 bags of that a month? Yep. And each bag comes with a numbered card, a limited edition sticker, a D&D 5e magic item, and a set of dice. That is a good deal. I can't believe they make tea. Many Worlds Tavern, coffee and tea for game night. The first 100 people to use discount code MAN10 at checkout will get 10% off their order. Click the link in the description or go to ManyWorldsTavern.com and use the code MAN10 at checkout for 10% off your order today. Man Shorts. Welcome back, players. I hope everybody had a nice holiday break. I trust you're all up to date on the drama factory that is the new OGL. What are we gonna do? Okay, calm down. We don't know how good or bad this is gonna be. They could always change their mind. Are you high? It's a multi-million dollar company, not an after-school club. Yeah, but even if they don't change their minds, it's still gonna encourage other publishers to create their own content. Hey, that's true. Like, we could get a bunch of new tabletop RPGs. Until they get bought out. Well, we're gonna find out today, because the three of you will be playing as game publishers. Your story starts in the not-so-distant future, after the official release of 1D&D and the new OGL 1.1. Case in point, I've decided my company isn't gonna release third-party content. We're gonna make our own game. I'm just gonna keep publishing content under the new OGL. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Shouldn't have said that. Okay, well, Waylon has decided to start fresh. Lance has opted to follow the rules. Do I even want to know what you're going to do? I'm just going to keep publishing third-party content. Business as usual. Really? That's surprising. You're like the last person I would think would want to sign the new OGL. Oh, I didn't say that. I just said I was going to keep publishing content. Okay, you do realize that by doing that, you'll be putting yourself at risk for a huge lawsuit. Right? If your content isn't worth fighting for, why make it? Everyone roll initiative. 15. 12. 19. Lance is up first. What do you want to do? I'm going to start a Kickstarter for my new book of magic items and weapons. It's called Arms of Arcana. What's the goal? And how long are you running the campaign? $60,000 and six weeks. Give me a marketing check. 23. Nicely done. You make a TikTok video that goes viral, and you meet your goal in a few hours. Awesome. Whoa. Really? I hit it that fast? Yep. All $48,000. Congratulations. 48000 No. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. My goal was $60,000. Right, but 20% of that goes up to the big boss man. Yeah. Royalties. I thought that was only for people who make like a million dollars or something. Well, technically speaking, we don't know what the official rules are yet. But in this scenario, they've decided to drop that number down to 50k. Oh no! If only someone could have seen that coming. Hold on, this is all hypothetical, right? They wouldn't really do that, right? I mean, they could. And in this case, they did. Sorry, buddy. Looks like you'll have to miss some bills this month. I guess this is what I get for following the rules. Told ya. Waylon, you're up. My prototype is ready, so I'd like to present it at a local RPG convention. Good idea. Give me a marketing check. 13. Fortunately, a friend of yours has had a booth at this con for several years, so he was able to get you one as a guest speaker. The stage is yours. Tell us about your game. Sure. Um, it's called Bards and Barbarians. Uh, essentially, you can either be a magic user or a weapon user. Interesting take. Um, what do you do if you want to use magic and a weapon? Uh, yeah, I would... didn't really think of that. Um, I was trying to keep it simple. He definitely accomplished that. I think it sounds fun. Fireball, Warhammer. Ooh, sorry. In the middle of your presentation, somebody points out that a larger, more known publisher has just arrived. The crowd disperses to go check out their new TTRPG. Gee, I guess I was so worried about competing with D&D, &D, I didn't think about all the other competition. Oh, and there's a lot of it. Maybe I can add a class that combines Might and Magic? That's a start. Sarah? I'm going to post a thirst trap to Instagram with a link to my new prestige class book. 
Give me a marketing check. 17. You sell out your pre-orders in 11 minutes. And that is how it's done. Yep, you're getting sued. Seriously? Just because you don't care about copyright law doesn't mean it doesn't exist. That sucks. Lance, give me an OGL compliance check. Six. Looks like you forgot to note one of the D&D spells in your book as being a D&D spell. What does that mean? Sorry, you'll have to reprint anything you already had made. But I already printed all of the copies. If you think that's bad, wait until you find out how much money they're going to make off of your ideas. Huh? Waylon, how's the new version of the game looking? I'm taking a different approach. We're just going to rewrite the PHB and change all the copyrighted names. So you want to make a clone of the game, with the only difference being that you don't use any of the copyrighted verbiage? Yep. You're being sued. <sighs> how? The plaintiff is claiming that not enough about your new game has been changed. That doesn't make sense. They can't possibly win. They don't have to win. They just have to tie you up in litigation long enough that you'll either give up willingly or run out of money. How is this happening? Speaking of which, Sarah, give me a legal check. 25. Unfortunately, the judges ruled against you. What? How did they beat a 25? This company has an army of high-powered, high-paid attorneys on retainer. You could have rolled a 50 and lost. Stupid OGL. Lance and Waylon, you also lose your respective cases. You are all officially out of business. Well, that was a nightmare. <sighs> For Fitz, even half that bad? That's going to be a rough couple of years. Can we play something that lets us have a little bit more structure next week? We can do that. I already have something in mind. A short episode. Speed! What's the new title of the video series? RPG Tabletop Fun Time Session? Yes, right there. RPG yeah. Tabletop Fun Time Session. We need to put the copyright in before <laughs> this video comes out. Waylon, how's the new vision? Ve How's the new version of the Gurm looking? <laughs> Can we use Might and Magic? Because that is a different franchise. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's the joke there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? They own all of my creation! Technically speaking, we don't know what the official rules are. And I don't know the rest of the line. <laughs> I just said I'm going to keep... You heard the dogs. It doesn't matter. I stopped now anyways. <laughs> yeah, but even if they don't change their mind, it's just going to encourage other publishers to create their own content. Oh no! <laughs> the new, I thought you'd be the last one. Oof, a marketing check. It's the worst. Why do we do that? It's like we didn't have any choices. We made this thing. They're like, oh, you know, there's just a P and phone. It's like, we could change that. I rolled a one on silencing my phone. Who's it from? I have to read it like a kid in a classroom. Yeah. Uh, you bought Persona 5 Royale. Solid purchase. Jane's grandma bought me the weebiest video game possible. <laughs> <laughs> Roll. Wait on you. Oh. There's just one bard in the entire world. <laughs> you can be one guy that plays music or not. I know you interrupted me. <laughs> I hadn't quite lost it. I was. <laughs> um. That's my phone. It says, it wouldn't be a fantasy football season without some major disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Fantasy football is just D&D &D for jocks. Gee, I guess I was so busy thinking about where it. Worried. Snooze this. Joaquin. Well, the thing about Joaquin is that it's like, oh, this is great. Another wonderful performance. I wonder if we'll have to hear a weird speech after it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start a Kickstarter for my name. It's like if I had you say, like, Turkey Protocol 41. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. With my hair, I have a bad habit of tilting my head a little bit. I mean, my house might just be crooked. <laughs> That's what I do when I catch stuff. Do you do that? What? Now people go, Kobe. When I almost drop something and grab it, I'm like... Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> like a million dollars or something. Make. Make. Because of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we play some? <sighs> Yo, ain't you like 35 years old? How you been living with the flow so cold? I tell him that I keep warm with my alchemist fire. I stay warm with my alchemist fire. Out of the swamplands where the temperatures be like 101 They wonder when I'ma run out of thunder No wonder I'm under the gun What have I done? See, because it was a joke at first And then I rewrote my verse And lo and behold, I discovered the flow that works For the most part
mostly I'm fortunate that I've been able to ignore the coordinates. I got a history of being insubordinate, but what it is gonna be when the fortune hits? Like, dang, he said he would do it and he really did it. He really committed. The kid wasn't kidding. We should have listened instead of calling him a degenerate. Been independent. I'm into administering a percentage of them in a dome. I'm winning attention again and again, and I got him grinning when I enter the room, bringing the boom. One of a kind, I'm not here to change your mind I'm here to remind you the fine and the fire inside you is what's gonna keep you alive Baby like yo, ain't you like 35 years old? How you been living with the flow so cold? I tell them that I keep warm with my alchemist fire I stay warm with my alchemist fire Baby like yo, ain't you like 35 years old? How you been living with the flow so cold? I tell them that I keep warm with my alchemist fire I stay warm with my alchemist fire